It's the start of a new month, so it's time for me to share with you my most addictive fragrances right now. If you're interested, then just keep watching. Before we get into the fragrances, I do want to quickly introduce myself. My name is Aisha. I make videos about fragrance, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things you're into, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So if you've never seen one of these videos from me, these are basically the fragrances that I cannot get enough of over the past month or so. Typically with these fragrances, they are not always ones that I have worn a ton. It's more so that I keep going back to them and smelling them and wanting to wear them. Also, I do want to make note that I just did like a major haul. <laughs> So of course I've been smelling those as well, but I didn't want to include any of those fragrances. Well, one, one, but I'll let you know why. I didn't want to include those fragrances in this video because I felt like I haven't really had a chance to get to know those fragrances yet. And I think that I'm smelling them more because obviously they aren't brand new. So even though I'm not mentioning them in this favorites video, doesn't mean that I don't like them. They just mean that I felt like it was too soon for me to mention any of those fragrances in this video. Hopefully that makes sense. Anyway, let's get into the fragrances. So the first fragrance that I have to share with you is from Dior and this is Eden Rock. So this fragrance is a summer fragrance. And before we talk about the notes and everything, let me just say, I know it's fall. However, it's still hot here and because I know I'll be getting into wearing my deep dark scents that I happen to love, like I love those more than summer scents, but because I know I'm getting into those soon, I've really been wanting to wear some of my fragrances that I would not wear when it gets cold. So one of those fragrances is this one and this is Eden Rock and this one is amazing. It's one of those fragrances that I feel like you may not know the beauty of it until you wear it a couple times because I honestly, when I first got it, I wasn't that impressed and then I kept wearing it or I had, I had a like sample one before, like a decant. So I kept wearing that decant and then I fell in love, bought the whole bottle. So yeah, this is kind of a marine type scent. So it's very classy. It's not a sunscreen scent. It is more of a kind of like a salty vanilla with a little bit of coconut in it and definitely some freshness to it. This is a very refreshing fragrance in my opinion. It is very pretty, it's very elegant. It's definitely an elevated take on coconut in my opinion. So if you're looking for a heavy coconut fragrance, this is not it. And I technically, I guess I could wear it during colder weather, but to me, it reminds me of a beach. So I probably won't wear this during the cold weather, but I've been wearing it a lot lately. I've been smelling it a lot lately. And so I felt like I had to mention it. So this is Eden Rock from Dior. The next two fragrances I actually just mentioned in a video, so I will not spend a lot of time on them, but I felt like I would be lying if I did not include them in this video. So the first one is from BDK and this is Passe Soi. This is a beautiful fruity fragrance that has some ginger in it. The fruit in this is quince and I believe that is a tropical fruit, but this smells so delicious and intoxicating. I did feature this in my fall or fruity fragrances for fall video that I just posted like a few days ago. So I'll definitely link that video below if you wanna know more about it. But this is one that I just cannot stop smelling. I've only worn it a few times. I haven't had it that long, but you can see I have actually used it and I have definitely had this less than a month. <laughs> so yeah, this one is so pretty, it's so intoxicating. This was not a blind buy for me. I actually had a sample of this and I pulled it out, started using it and I was like, what are you doing, Aisha? Why don't you buy this? So I bought it and I love it. So yeah, I definitely had to mention it because it is just a very intoxicating and addictive scent. Love it. That's Passe Soi. The other fragrance that I also mentioned in that Fruity Fragrances for Fall video <laughs> is also based on the note of quince, the same fruit that's in Passe Soi but this is Dolce Amalfi from Zerjoff. Now I feel like I mentioned this in one of these videos a couple months ago, probably when I first got it, but I needed to mention it again. Like I really needed to. I love the smell of this. This is, it smells like spicy, juicy fruit gum. That's exactly what it smells like to me. If you've never smelled juicy fruit, I don't even know if they still make it, but 
if you have smelled Juicy Fruit, it has a very distinctive smell. It doesn't smell like other bubble gum to me. But yeah, that's what this smells like. So it's sweet, it's a little spicy. I believe there's cardamom in here. But it, there's just something so good about this. I bought this, I think in the summer, and I thought it was gonna be a summer scent, and it, I did wear it during the summer. However, I can see how it'll be too heavy for some people during the summer. So I think I'll be getting a lot of use out of this in the fall. But lately, I've just been sniff, sniff, sniffing it, wanting to wear it. Um, unfortunately, I just have this tiny bottle, so I need to show some restraint. <laughs> but luckily, you don't need a lot of this fragrance. So I have been wearing this, even if just too bad. <laughs> and I've really been enjoying it. So that is Dolce Amalfi. The next fragrance that I have is the one that I have been killing for bedtime. And that is the Degan Voltaire, This Is Her. Now, I had this fragrance in a small bottle wasn't that impressed with it sold it repurchased it in a larger bottle because i missed it <laughs> and this time i have fallen in love like look at this look how much i've used you probably can't see it but it's right there let's see there so you can see it's that much that i've used and this is a 100 ml bottle this is a milky like sandalwood scent so i'm not sure if milk is actually a note in this but I would be surprised if it's not. I know there is sandalwood. It's a very creamy sandalwood. But it definitely smells like there's some milk or like maybe it's like whipped cream in this. This is so comforting to wear to bed at night. I initially bought this because I thought it would layer well with some of my like almond fragrances to give me more of a milky texture to it. But I've honestly just been wearing it by itself to bed a lot. I haven't really worn this during the day. But for bedtime, it's amazing. And there's something just so comforting about it. I've been sick a lot, so I haven't worn as many fragrances as I typically would because I've just been wanting something that's not going to annoy me. And this has really been coming in handy on the days where I have a headache or something like that, but I still want to spray on a little bit of fragrance. This has been working out for me. So yeah, that is This Is Her. And then the last fragrance I have to share with you is one that I showed in my last haul video, but I've had it longer than that. So this is from Killian. It is Apple Brandy on the Rocks. I have done a video all about this. There are some cons to this fragrance, but I would be lying if I did not include it in this video because this is one I can't stop smelling. I love it. I keep wanting to wear this one. I love the smell of this. I know it's getting mixed reviews, even from people that I feel like our noses are very similar. They don't like it or I don't know, but I love it. I love the smell of it. I love the mix of the brandy with the freshness of the apple or pineapple, or whatever it is. But it's just something that just makes me want to keep smelling this. It is boozy, but it's not as boozy as the original apple brandy. I feel like I've talked about this a lot. <laughs> so definitely check out my video talking about this fragrance if you want to know more about it. But it is definitely one that I have been smelling, smelling, smelling and wearing <laughs> so that is apple brandy on the rocks so those were my most addictive fragrances right now let me know in the comments down below what is the one fragrance that you cannot stop reaching for whether or not you wear it a lot if you have been reaching for it just to sniff it let us know we all want to know if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up also make sure you subscribe and turn your notification bells on so that you don't miss a video from me also make sure you follow me over on instagram i always like to give you guys sneak peeks over there on new fragrances that i've got in and things that i'm wearing so definitely make sure you check me out over there i hope you guys enjoy watching this video as much as i enjoy making it Thanks again for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye.